Hi guys, and welcome to Brew Stories. Uh, where it's our mission to meet the people and bring you the stories from the best beers around. That's right. And today, we're at Beamer Shore. A country house on the border between Tyne and Weir and County Durham. Yeah, it's a lovely place, isn't it? It's a fantastic place, yeah. yeah. It's a magnificent 13th century uh, country house hotel of 42 bedrooms, plus it also has an exciting addition. Oh yeah, what's that then? It's got a brewery. Oh, why was Danny here? Yeah, let's go. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> In the corner of the stables courtyard is Beamish Hall's fully functioning microbrewery, where master brewer John and his assistant Peter create some very special local brews. We meet up with them and find out more. Hi John, thank you for inviting us to Beamish Hall. Yeah. I guess we want to know first, what's the story of the Beamish Brewery and how did it all begin? Well, um, back in 2005 I was brewing at a little brewery in Lane at uh, Sunderland and I was uh, selling to various places, one of which was to the hall here and I got wind that they were building, converting the stables into a bar restaurant and I had the idea that they might like me to put a brewery in. So I approached the owner, uh, David Craggs, and pitched to him the idea of a brewery in here and he loved the idea but he thought it would be better that he built the brewery and I come to work for him full time. Now as I only work, uh, live a mile away, I thought that was a great idea and he offered us free lunch every day, and that sealed the deal. Can you tell us a little bit about your background, and what you did before you were brewer here? My background, um, I first got into uh, working as a, a barman uh, waiter in Poole Bridge in the Lake District. And uh, it went on from there. I worked in various pubs in Durham, ran for a short time the Traveller's Rest on Clear Path in the late 70s, just the bar and cellar. I started off as a cellar man there, uh, that was me, I was the manager of the cellar and the bars. And that actually cut my teeth quite well because those days we were working with uh, kildikins and barrels predominantly and most of them were oak. Um, and ended up buying my first pub which was the Beamish Mary, up at no place. Um, and I concentrated on Cascale and we achieved quite a lot of awards won, namely I think it was 1994 we won the best pub in Britain and I don't think anybody in the North East has managed to do that since. After about 12 years I felt I needed a break so we sold up uh, with a view to do something I didn't know what. I learned about, uh, well I've been at a new uh, brew lab and I was very good friends with the, 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 that was very much in its beginnings, Brew Lab and Darwin Brewery. And they taught me into learning to brew. So I, I ended up doing a, um, a three month um, Brew Lab course on learning to brew. Action, very thorough, tremendous. I'd recommend it to anybody starting. And um, came back into the game with brewing and started my first brewery in Sunderland which had enough cellar space and I put a uh, two barrel brewery in the cellar and that's where I started brewing. And uh, from there, um, of course, I ended up getting the job here and uh, here I am now. Do you guys have a particular philosophy behind brewing your beer? Um, no, not really. I, 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 all we try to do is get the best of ingredients and make the beer with all the passion you've got and adhere to a very strict regime recipe wise. Um, so temperatures exact, weights and measures exact. Um, as long as you stay within the parameters, and don't try and reinvent the wheel, hopefully your beer should be a good one. So what's your most popular beer and how will you describe it to our viewers? The most popular beer is our IPA, which is uh, called Silver Buckles, because um, the, the name Silver Buckles was actually chosen by several of the, the hotel staff who, when we started we asked the staff to put in ideas for names 
Silver buckles are synonymous with Bobby Shafto, because the Shaftos owned the hall at one point. So yeah, the silver buckles is by far the most popular, probably uh, sells twice as much as every other beer. If you only had a few sentences and you wanted to convince people to come to Beamish Hall, what would you say? It's in a beautiful area. Uh, Beamish means beautiful valley. And we've got the museum just uh, a stone throw away. We've got Tanfield Railway with the oldest surviving railway bridge in the world just behind us here. Um, we've got a fantastic restaurant, lovely beers, nice place to sit in the sunshine. It's got everything, hasn't it? What are we drinking? We are drinking Silver Buckles and Bobby Dazzler. Yeah. Mm. They're nice, aren't they? Lush. Yeah. So, thanks to John and Peter for showing us around the microbrewery. If you're staying at Beamish Hall Hotel or if you're just passing by, I reckon coming down here and checking out the brewery is a great way to spend a couple of hours. Definitely. Absolutely. And why we do this? We do this for the love of beer. Cheers, Beam. Cheers.